I recently watched a documentary from Al Jazeera that explores the lives of Japanese men who are called Hikikomori. In the documentary, they interview a 50-year-old man who has lived most of his life inside his room that he has had since childhood. We learn how it came about that he decided to isolate himself off from the rest of the world and live in the same family home only with his mother. The issue of bullying and a miserable life working stressful jobs is what made him retreat into his room. This is just two of the main reasons why a growing number of mostly Japanese men have decided to cut themselves off from the, re from the world and basically become hermits. From reading an article from the website The Conversation, which I will link in the description below, I learned more about this phenomenon that is happening in Japan. The term hikikomori, derived from the verb hikiki to withdraw and komore to be inside, was coined in 1998 by Japanese psychiatrist Professor Tamaki Saito. Saito chose the term to describe the many young people he saw who didn't fit the criteria for mental health diagnosis, but were nonetheless in a state of extreme distressing withdrawal. Problems with extreme social withdrawal in Japan's youth first gained attention during the 1990s. This is the period when Japan endured an economic ice age which prevented many young people from achieving their goals. Hikikomori is currently viewed as a socio-cultural mental health phenomenon rather than a distinct mental illness. Given at least 1.2% of the population or around a million people are affected, Hikikomori is a significant social and health problem. Hikikomori is also increasingly being identified in other developed countries. The term now used across the world to describe anyone who fits the criteria. There are several core features of hikikomori. This includes the affected person being physically isolated in their home for at least six months, cut off from meaningful social relationships with significant distress and functional impairment, such as avoiding tasks where they might have to interact with someone or deal with basic self-care needs. Alongside physical isolation, hikikomori people show an extreme psychological detachment from the social world. Places where active social interaction is expected, such as work or school, become impossible for these persons. They remain socially disconnected from those around them, whether they are outside their house or not. While some hikikomori people, such as that are called Soto Komori can manage some activities outside, they will rarely interact with people. Some may use the internet as a window on the world, but they often won't interact with others. This reminds me of another video where I learned about many Japanese people living in internet cafes for the reasons of isolating themselves from other people cheaper accommodations and because of work pressure forcing them to live in these uh, small units. It seems that the problem of hikikomori isn't just an issue of a small portion of the population as it has been gro a growing problem throughout the country and now there are different variations of people basically becoming isolated. There is also another problem known as the 80-50 problem. The 80-50 problem refers to hikikomori children from early days now entering their 50s as their parents on whom they rely enter their 80s. It was first described in Japanese publications and media in the late 2010s. The reason why this issue is a major problem is that with Japan's aging population, these older hikikomori who have been dependent upon their parents can't see this as a viable option in the future as their parents die off and they have to take care of themselves. So they basically can't be children anymore and basically have to become full grown adults in their 50s and 60s taking care of themselves. But with the fact that they're so socially isolated, their, skill, their social skills are so awful, this is hard for them to readjust to society and try to take care of themselves even though they're in their 50s. 
This isolation is having a negative economic and demographic impact on the country. There has been a lot of treatment that has been done for these affected Hikikomori people. Uh, the BBC did a piece where they focused on women who used several techniques to get many of those affected persons who, again, are mostly male, to reintegrate back into society. Also, there have been group therapy programs that have been set up for Hikikomori to slowly come out of their homes to interact with other people like themselves and become less isolated. Even with these treatment programs, it seems that it's still a growing social and mental health crisis that is not only affecting Japan, but also the rest of the developed world. See, the Hikikomori remind me a lot of the fact that here in the United States, there has been a growing number of lonely single men who find themselves isolated from the rest of society. Now, it's not on the scale as in Japan, and it's different in terms of how this social issue has developed in North America, but I see many similarities that I feel I wanted to point out. While the hikikomori of Japan become basically peaceful shut-ins as a product of their work culture and basically in general their whole soci societal culture, in America there has been a culture of single men who lash out violently because of some perceived injustices. Incels is one group that comes to mind. Incels, or involuntary celibates, is a growing online subculture of men who hate women and see them as inferior for the fact that they haven't been able to get girlfriends or have sex. This group uh, was made well known by an individual known as Elliot Roger, a self self-described incel who went on a killing spree in Isla Vista, California in 2014. Since there have been other sorts of terrorist attacks carried out by self-described incels since that major incident in 2014. And not just lonely incels, but many mass shooters have seemed to be lonely and hate-filled males who feel the world has done them wrong and forced them into their situations of being completely isolated. Now I can't speak for the rest of the world obviously, but here in North America it seems lonely, single, and angry men have become increasingly more of the norm in the states. While there is a culture in Japan of resentful and angry men you ha who have been rejected by women and society in general, in America it seems to be getting worse as violent nut jobs appear out of the blue and engage in violent acts, such as mass shootings, stabbings, and just general murders. I could be wrong as those are just my personal observations but I feel like there is somewhat of a comparison as there is the term doomer that has also been applied to incels and isolated men here in the United States as it is sort of a growing problem of this generation of finding meaningful relationships or even the will to find a very much a compelling or I guess rewarding work or career. When it comes to demographic changes there's a lot to unpack here as I might need to make a separate video in the future on this subject, but in short, Japan's population is shrinking very quickly and having a considerable number of men, the hikikomori, isolating themselves from society and not starting families is not helping whatsoever. With a growing aging population that need to be cared for and more and more Japanese not starting families, it seems the only immediate solution would be for the country to open up to immigration. But it seems this most likely will not happen for a very long time as most Japanese want to continue having a homogenous society with 98% of the population being Japanese and the nation having been homogenous for several centuries. I will try to talk about this subject in more detail probably in the future as I will dedicate a video to this demographic issue that is being um, been growing in Japan for a long time. The, hiku, the hikikimori represent a growing societal threat as it is a contributing factor to Japan's population decline. I wouldn't say it's a major major factor but it is on the list of problems that will plague Japan in the future. 
I really do understand many of the hiko, hikikomori as they find nothing rewarding about seeking careers and seeking jobs that demand long hours where they have managers that are absolutely demanding as well and for them to continue that life which is absolutely miserable of the type of work culture which is absolutely toxic in Japan I completely understand why they decide to isolate themselves from the rest of society. What's fascinating about this is that this cultural phenomenon that's happening in Japan is again starting to happen in North America and Europe. And the thing is is that Japan is facing a serious demographic problem, a demographic threat. Now in the United States, in North America, we also have demographic issues, but the demographic issues are sort of different in the sense that the white population in the United States is starting to decrease with pe many people not deciding to have families, having children, and many people living into the 30s, 40s, basically isolated and single. Many of those in my generation of Gen Z and, e and even millennials. This issue is going to be continuing into the future of our generation basically not deciding to have children and basically living more lonely and isolated lives. But the thing is, is that could Japan really succeed in overcoming this issue? Would they allow to their country to open up for mass immigration? Or are they kind of running into an issue where they're going to face a demographic crisis or a demographic apocalypse in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope this video was very informative and you guys got a lot out of it because I enjoyed kind of making and writing this video. Thank you for watching and uh, like always please subscribe and have a wonderful day.